Today, I'm gonna show you how you can make your very own sneak energy partner code animation. Kind of like that one. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, what's up with Bravity? And welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today we are doing another pop-up animation. These are some of my favorite videos to create. I don't know what it is about creating these pop-up animations like the G Fuel one I did, and then the Support a Creator one I did for Fortnite or Epic Games. These are so fun to create and I don't know why. But today we're gonna be making one for Sneak Energy and all of you Sneak Energy partners out there because recently on my G Fuel animation video, I got a comment from Benji DWJ that said, hey Bravity, if you have any free time, if you could make an animated lower third pop-up for Sneak, a UK-based alternative to G Fuel, that would be pretty awesome. And I love that idea because I've heard of Sneak and they seem to be an awesome company. So I want to create an awesome animation for those of you Sneak partners out there and not just the G Fuel partners. So today, inside of Photoshop, I'm going to show you how I create one of these pop-ups and design it inside of Photoshop. And then we're going to jump into After Effects and I'm going to show you the animation that I created for this Sneak Energy pop-up and just kind of show you how I did it if you want to create it yourself. But if you do not want to create it yourself, there is a free download Download in the description for this Sneak Energy partner pop-up. If you are partnered with Sneak Energy and want to have your code pop up inside of your videos, it is free for you to download down there. You just pop into After Effects, add in your text, and then you are done. But if you do not own After Effects, there is even a pre-exported file inside of that same download. So you can just bring it into your editor and scale your text on your own and put it in there. You don't even need After Effects. You just bring it into your editor, pop the text in, and you're done. But without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop for the people who do want to design it themselves, or if you want to design any kind of pop-up for your partner code. So into Photoshop we go. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Photoshop. And as you can see, this is the finished design that I just created inside of Photoshop before I've taken it into Animate. So we're gonna be going based off of this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new project here, a new file inside of Photoshop. There we go, 1920 by 1080, beautiful. And the way I like to start out creating these pop-up animations is by grabbing some sort of background. So the backgrounds that I usually grab are from pexels.com. It is a free stock photo and stock video website. Highly recommend checking it out, link in the description. But you can just search background on Pexels and get some really cool designs. I got this one right here. Let it load in. There it is. And it looks pretty cool. I kind of grabbed one that looked like it would match the sneak branding a little bit. So I'm just going to rotate it like that. And now we need to cut out the shape for a pop-up. So we're going to go up here to our rectangle selection tool and we're just going to select a cool little section of the background just kind of like that. And now we need to invert the mask. So we're going to hold down control shift I. That's going to invert the mask so that we can cut out what we don't want. Make sure we rasterize our layer real quick by right click, go to rasterize, then delete. And there we go, we've got our rectangle box for our pop-up that we can center up here. I'm actually gonna scale this up just a little bit. Free transform, scale it up. Beautiful, and there we go. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go onto the internet and you're gonna get your logo. For example, we're using the Sneak Energy logo. So I just Google image search the Sneak Energy logo and just rip it off of Google Images. Get a really nice high quality PNG, preferably one with a transparent background. That is what I did. So if we head back over here, we can actually grab our logos here and we're gonna pull them from this because I already grabbed them. So there we go, we've got our Sneak Energy logo and you just kinda wanna position it inside of your box just like that. And you see our bunnies are kind of cutting off on the uh, the rectangle here. So we're actually gonna free transform our rectangle and make sure it fits the logo inside. So just like that, there we go. Now what we wanna do is we wanna make our rectangle look a little bit nicer so that the Sneak Energy logo stands out a little bit more. So we're actually going to duplicate our uh, our pexels layer down here, our background layer. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our colors and we're gonna select two colors that we like. I'm gonna use kind of like these sneak colors. I don't know if these are the sneak colors, but I saw a flavor that looked like this and I thought it looked really good. So it's pink. And then we're gonna select the secondary color here and we're gonna make it this kind of light blue. They're very close to the Bravity colors actually. And then we're gonna go like that. So we got our pink and our blue and we're gonna double click into our duplicated layer that's on top. And we're gonna to go to gradient overlay and we're gonna overlay the gradient that we just created with our colors just like that. There we go. Now let's go ahead and move around our uh, angle here till we get kind of a cut in half horizontal like that. I think it's 90, negative 90. There you go, so it's perfectly cut in half just like that. That's exactly what we want. We're gonna go ahead and rasterize our layer styles by right clicking, go up to rasterize layer styles, and then we can mess around with our uh, blending mode until we get something that looks cool. So make sure you're selecting the gradient layer, go up to our blending mode, and we can kind of go through these. I think vivid light was the one that I used, so that looks pretty cool. But you see, you can just mess around with like hard light. That actually looks really nice as well. Um, overlay, eh, all right. Uh, let's see, soft light, 
But you see, you can mess around with the blending modes here. I'm actually gonna go with hard light. I think that looked pretty cool and it makes the Sneak Energy logo stand out a little bit. Now we're gonna merge our background layers since we're done here. So we can hold down Shift, select both of those, right click and go to Merge Layers. And now I kinda wanna add a little bit of a border to our background. So we're gonna double click and go into the layer styles again. And we're gonna add a stroke to this. And we want the stroke to be white. It is already set to white, cool. And we're just gonna kinda move it up like this a little bit, beautiful. There we go. So now there's a bit of an outline around this. That looks pretty cool. Cool. I actually kind of added a bit of a colored background behind the uh, test one that I did just so I could see a little bit better. So let's make a large rectangle behind this just like that. Move it to the bottom. Now we can see what we're doing a little bit better. So now it's time to create our text boxes. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump down here to our shape layer. I'm going to make sure we grab the rounded rectangle tool. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we're not selecting on any other shapes. And we're gonna draw ourselves a new shape here that's kind of the shape of a text box. So that is a little bit too rounded on the corners there. So we can go over here to our properties. We can mess with our rounded corners, maybe 30. That looks pretty good. So now we can position this in place and make sure we select a white color, maybe like a little bit of an off white for our text box, just like that. And the way we want to make it look a little bit more like a text box is we want to add a drop shadow to it. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the layer styles here, select drop shadow. And that is a little bit too, too dark for us. So let's mess with the opacity a little bit. And there we go. Now we're looking a little bit more like a text box. Next up, we need to add our apply button. So we're going to grab another rounded rectangle tool, make sure we're not on any other shapes. And we're going to draw a nice little apply button just like that. As you can see, our button is rounded way too much as well. So let's go up here to our corners again. And let's maybe round these to 30. We're going to round them a little bit more than our text box. So that looks pretty good there and go and line it up to where it's even with your uh, text box. Beautiful, just like that. And let's make it a nice pink color. I think I did like a bit of an off hot pink, kind of like that for the, uh, for the test one. There we go, that looks pretty good. And now we can type out the text, apply. And uh, let's go with Roboto. I really like the Roboto font, just like that. Change the color to white. And now let's free transform it, scale it down and get it into place on our button here. So let's make it a little bit smaller. That looks really cool. We need to remember to add the, uh, add the drop shadow to our button as well. So double click into our layer styles, drop shadow, hit okay. And now I'm actually gonna select the text box and the apply layer and make sure that these are centered in our composition just like that. And there we go. That is pretty much it for the entirety of designing this sneak animation pop-up. That is all I did. You can actually bring this Photoshop file into After Effects and you've now got a Photoshop file or an After Effects composition with all these logos separated out, with the text box separated out, with the button and the apply, everything separate to make animating it really easy. And that's what we're gonna check out right now. Now that we've got this designed, we can save it as just normal Photoshop file. And then we go into After Effects, import it in and begin our animations. All right, guys, so here we are inside of After Effects, and we can take a look at the animation that I did for the sneak graphics. So when you bring this in, it's going to ask you if you want to bring it in as footage or as a composition. You want to make sure you bring it in as a composition so that you have all of your Photoshop files separated out so you can animate them all specifically. And we're going to go frame by frame here, and I'm just going to show you the kind of animation that I did. So for the background, the background is just a basic scale animation. You can just see it scaling in from nothing just like that. Then for the logos, I have the text logo just kind of dropping down from the top just like that. And you can see it comes out from behind nothing. And the way you do that is using track mat. So if you see, if I turn on this solid here, you can see there's a green solid that is coming out from behind the sneak there. The sneak comes out from behind that green solid. And then you see the green solid is next to the sneak logo and the sneak logo here in the track mat is set to alpha inverted mat. And that is the way you make it come out from behind nothing. It makes that green solid go invisible and then the sneak logo just comes out from behind nothing. Then the bunnies here are just kind of scaling in after the sneak comes in with a little bit of an animated rotation effect, just like that, very basic. You can animate one of these and then just copy your animation to the other one very simply. Then for the text box animation, this one's a little bit different. As you can see, we got the rounded rectangle here and the way we did it is we just wanna set our anchor point to be over here on the far left side. You see, you can grab the anchor point with this tool here and you just move the anchor point around and once you've done 
done that, you can then scale up your box from zero. So if we drop down our animations here, you see it's just a basic scale animation. And if you uncheck this box right here, it'll uncheck universal scaling. So you can just scale it along this horizontal axis and it scales out from the anchor point that we set over there. So it just scales out just like that. Beautiful. And then the apply button is just a basic just kind of scale up just like that with the text inside just a basic scale animation and that is all the animation is other than the text that i'll cover in just a second as you see all animation is just very basic either just scale or position dropping down but everything together is what makes it look crazy and complex for the text animation that is a little bit different. If we head into this composition here, you can see we've got our text just kind of writing in. And the way you do that is you just grab your text tool and type out your text as normal. Take your normal text layer and head over to your effects presets here and go to animator presets. Go to text down here, drop that in. Then you want to go to animate in, drop that down. And then you want to find the effect called fade up by characters. So each character is going to fade up on its own. And when you drop that onto your text layer, if you hit your drop down here, you'll see you'll get a new drop down called animator one inside of the text. So drop down text, you'll see animator one. Then you want to hit the range selector drop down and you'll see you've got two keyframes here that you can then move around. And based on how you move around these keyframes, it's how quickly or slow it's going to type in your text so you see the text just fades up by character between these two keyframes right there and that is it that is all you need to make that typewriter effect where it just kind of comes in by character just like that boom you've got an awesome sneak energy animation or any animation for any company that you want to have a code animation with and then we just have it all come out at once just like that so there you go there is your sneak animation completely done it is very simple if you just take it step by step from Photoshop and then into After Effects animating one little bit at at a time and it can be super fun I love doing these but for those of you who do not want to animate this by yourself or design it by yourself and downloaded down in the description the template I'm gonna show you exactly how you can edit this template so you don't need to do any work so when you open up the template it is going to look like this right here you've got final render you've got animations you've got edit text and you've got edit colors so what you can do is you can come in here to the text and you can change this you might need to move around in the composition to where it writes on and you can grab it and name it whatever you want so let's say that is your name and you've got a code with sneak and there you go if you head back into the final render you'll see that your text is now updated to be whatever your name is it's going to load in real quick but you see you got the typewriter effect already going for your name for your sneak code just like that beautiful and now if you want to edit the colors you can come in here to the edit color composition and you just kind of move forward until the animations come in and you see you've got your two layers that have colors your background and your button if you come down here to the bottom this is your background layer go up to effects control and you'll see you've got a hue and saturation wheel that you can move around to change your color. So let's say you want kind of like a green and blue, just like that. Then if you want to change the color of your button, you just select your button and you'll see you've got a fill effect here and you can change this color to be whatever you want. Let's say you want it to be this blue right here beautiful just like that so now you've got a blue and green effect with a blue button head back into final render and you've got the god gamer with a green and blue background and a blue button the button will still go gray even if you change the color so as you see if we let it load once it clicks it's going to click and turn gray it'll still do that even if you change it to the blue color or whatever color you want and when you're done customizing it and you're ready to export you just need to go to final render and make sure you're on this composition this is where you need to be when you go to render and then go up to composition and add to render queue once you've added it to the render queue come down here to where it says lossless in blue click on that and make sure you change the format from avi to quicktime once you change it to quicktime go to rgb and change it to rgb plus alpha the alpha channel is just going to make sure you have that trans transparent background so that you can put it over your footage and you don't have a black background hit OK then where it says output to final render click on that and you can name it whatever you want save it wherever you want hit render and then you are done with your template that you can download down in the description all right guys and that is pretty much it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed this sneak animation that you can download in the description or the knowledge of how to create your own code animation with any company that you want I really love reading your guys's comments and reading the ideas you have as you can see I do listen I do create the ideas that you guys give me and I will start putting your comment on the screen if I do use your idea like I did in this video but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and get in there create an awesome animation I'd love to see them send them to me on Twitter or post them in the discord you can join in the link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video